Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick little car um, inspired uh, review or additional review clarification um, about my Apple AirPods. I have been requested um, to do like a, a user review while, you know, after I have them for some time. And this is going to be this video. I decided to shot it here in the car because um, I was just out and I had, you know, I have them with me, um, you know, so I said, what the heck, let's do it here. Um, and I have also my Apple Watch, which, you know, is going to play a key element here um, with the, the story that I have to tell you behind the AirPods. Um, so I'm filming this on my iPhone 7 front camera. And let me take my glasses off because I think that's a little bit silly to have the glasses on. Um, I have a bit of a cold, so do apologize, guys, but I just wanted to bring you this um, little review of the AirPods and the Apple Watch 2 that I have. So let's, I'll just talk about both of the things. Um, so I have owned, um, so I'll start with the watch. I have owned the version 1 of this watch, and I have the aluminum, as you can see, the black one here. And the reason uh, I have sold it pretty quickly was, um, one, it was quite slow. Uh, two, the battery life was okay, but not the best. Uh, I found it to be, the dis display to be a bit on the um, dark side, so not so bright as I wanted it to be. And uh, just in general, it was, you know, slow. That was my biggest complaint. Uh, additionally, I have a challenge with this, uh, what we could call smart smartwatches, is that you guys know, if you follow me on my channel, I do own some of the, you know, Lux watches, like, um, you know, I have a Rolex Submariner in two-tone, I have a... Uh, the GMT and stainless steel also from Rolex and uh, you know once you start to use the smartwatch because it offers so much more than just being a watch um, you tend not to wear the other watches that much and if you like you know also wearing your classical watches then you um, start to start to wave between the two, if you know what I mean. And it, it's a challenge. It's a definitely a challenge for somebody who has watches like I do. And I know some of you guys have bigger collections and whatnot. So it's something to be considered, you know, honestly. Um, because when you're not wearing this, then you're not benefiting fully from this. Because this is obviously not just a watch. This is measuring your heartbeat. It's measuring your steps. So if you're a, a fitness or health enthusiast, um, this watch, you know, can do many other things for you. This, the version 2, though, you know, addressed some of the problems that I had on my previous one. So it is much, much faster due to the new processor. Also, it is waterproof. The previous one was flashproof. Honestly speaking, to me, that's not such a big deal breaker um because you know i wasn't really swimming with it but this one you can swim with it and you can actually measure that exercise so if that's important for you the version 2 obviously uh, is the one to go for and also um, as i mentioned before you know the battery life is a tad better it's not that much better but it is better display is much brighter uh, they say it's double the brightness of previous one i don't know about that but this one is bright enough um and it just, uh, you know, it, it's a nice piece. Um, I, when I got this one, and now I have it, I think, for like two months, I wear it on and off, and now when I got the AirPods, and this is where I come to the AirPods, now I wear them pretty much all the time, you know? And it's like almost to a point where, not that I'm considering to sell the other watches, but it's just, I, I don't, you know, I, whenever in the morning I want to put something else on than this, I, you know, grab my uh, AirPods and I say, nah, I'm taking the Apple Watch. And the reason for this is that, as I'm showing here and you can see, this, this is a great little remote that is always with you, that can uh, completely get rid of, of all the challenges I have and many other people have with the Apple AirPods, which is the lack of control on the AirPod, Air AirPods themselves. So th this, this little things, do not have any volume control. They do not have any ability to skip music. You can only pause music with this one by double tapping. Or you can set that same function for awoking Siri and then command Siri, um, you know, to do, you know, the skip songs or whatnot. Um, you know, guys, I'll be honest with you. Um, that's okay and it works kind of okay, but only when you're alone. Because otherwise, you look like a twat walking around, you know, talking to yourself 
uh, music, um, you know, volume up, volume down, next song, it's just, it, it's weird, you know, I get that, you know, this is a modern age, and you, you know, this is a common practice now, but to me, you know, I'm an old fart, and I still, you know, feel, <sighs> I feel weird with that, so it's definitely not something what I'm using. I, I'm using it when I'm alone at home, for example, or, you know, whatnot. That's okay, I don't mind that, but other than that, you know, I have to pull out the phone and did all the things if I don't have the Apple Watch. Now, if I have the Apple Watch, as you can see, here you have all the controls from volume um, to skip songs, play songs, and then if you go back here, you get the whole um, the whole menu experience where you can you know just go down here and say you know I want to go to my playlist. It's kind of hard to do it here and then say I don't know whatever. Go here and say I want to you know listen to my Shazam Shazam tracks, and it's gonna pull those up. And you hit play and voila, it starts playing on here. So. You know, this together is a perfect combination, but to me, you know, it's... Uh, and, and to me, you know, that's why I start now to really almost exclusively wear this watch. I tried to wear also my other watch on my other wrist, but that looks like... It just looks weird, you know, you're wearing two watches, there's no way around it, and just, it, it looks weird. Um, as for the AirPods, you know, I, I did the review on one of my blogs, or on one of my vlogs, I think it was vlog 10 or vlog 11, I don't remember, in, in car when I was driving to Pandrov, uh, the outlet. But, you know, so far, you know, I have not much more to add to this. You know, I like them a lot, you know, they are very easy to use. They are very, um, you know, intuitive when it comes to connecting. As I said, they connect. Once you connect them to the phone, they will connect to all your Apple, Apple devices because they use your Apple ID for that. Meaning if you have an iPad and a computer in the same network, I mean network, in the same Apple ID, they're just going to show there so you can then, you know, start using them without pairing them with other. That's very nifty. Um, the battery pack is nice. I never ran out of batteries on this because it just, you know, they're always charged. And I charge this maybe twice per week, maximally, not even that. And it's enough for me. I, grantedly, I don't use them so much as somebody else might use them. Um, but, you know, I do use them like around half an hour a day they're there about sometimes more so for me it's perfect um, I have used other Bluetooth headsets and my challenge with those were usually you know I have them for the gym or I had them mostly for the gym you know and I use them in the gym for one hour and then the next time I use them for one hour and then I forgot to charge them and I came to the gym and they were empty these ones never go empty uh, just because of this case and that's brilliant design as I said I don't know I, I honestly I'm not a fan of the design and I'll put them in my ears so you guys can see that because as you can see when you put them in um, of course I should put the other one in probably if I'm to put it in this year <laughs> anyway so there we go so you see they kind of we look weird because you know they're sticking out here a lot and I guess they had to put that in because there's the microphone here and you have to put the battery somewhere in uh, but other than that, you know, okay, it is what it is. That's it. They are recogniz recognizable because, you know, the design is the same as the wired one. Uh, although these ones come with some sensors also, which, you know, help to detect if they are in the ear or not. One thing that I like a lot, which I noticed last time, if you're listening to music and you have both of them in like this, um, the, the nice thing is that uh, if you pull one out, the music pauses, but if you are on a on a call um, you know and some of us do this large conf, uh, longer conf calls or whatever you're talking to somebody to your friend if you would have pulled one out the call would not break up or it wouldn't shut down the call and then that's nice because sometimes when you're on a call you like to have your other ear open so you can hear somebody you know talking to you next to you or you know discussing what's being said on the call and I actually you know I don't recommend that from the hygiene perspective is you could give this to somebody else and you could both be on a conference call and still be talking to each other, you know, kind of discussing what's being discussed. So that's kind of cool. That said, you know, this is in your ear. So, you know, another thing is I do keep these ones. I try to keep them clean um, because, you know, ears are what they are. And uh, my recommendation is you really clean them after almost every use because otherwise, you know, it's going to pile up and they, they will be dirty and then it's harder to clean. And I find that out also with the with the ear, um, with the uh, wired version. 
Um, but aside from that, you know, they are a really, really nice piece of equipment. You know, they are not audiophile quality, but you know, you can't expect that. And we all know the limitation of the Bluetooth technology versus the wire technology. All in all, would I repurchase this headset? Yes, I would. Um, do I think they are a great buy? No, I don't. I think they are a good buy. They would be a great buy if they would be around $100 mark. You know, that would be really, I think they would be worth that money. But 100 what they, I paid 170 180 I don't know. For that, you know, they are on this on the expensive side. And we all know how Apple price their stuff. So if you want to be in the club, you need to pay out the money. I'm pretty sure the version 2 or the AirPods 2 that the Apple is going to for sure come up next year or whatever are gonna address some of the things that i have discussed here but until then i'm very happy with these ones uh i had some challenges where you know you will notice this uh, i have connected them to iphone 7 6s uh, an ipad and a mac mini and a mac pro that's what i have in my network and i can tell you that sometimes uh, you know when they are connected to one device you need to manually click on connection on the other device so they switch the device it even though if you would turn off bluetooth on the other device they, they are not smart that you know that much so they would understand um and another thing is that sometimes if you have multiple apps open, you know, they start to make some weird noises, but I think that's like kind of software related and not really, you know, related to the headset itself. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, guys, do let me know. Um, I'm here and I'm very happy to, to answer whatever you would like to, to know about this headset. After all, they're not that cheap, um, uh, you know, so you need to make the right decision that this is for you. Um, so do leave me a comment down in the comment box. Um, I hope you have re uh, enjoyed this user review, a mini little review of the Apple Watch 2 um, and the Apple AirPods. Uh, until the next video, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.